Okay, here we go. We're in uh, Adobe Fireworks here, and um, I'm going to show you how to put together a quick navigation bar. This is probably one of the first steps that you want to do uh, when creating um, your website or building your uh, basic website. And um, uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial, and uh, I'm not going to take up too much time. But um, first of all, we're going to uh, start with Canvas here. I'm going to make this probably uh, seven, seven hundred oh, by, um, I guess, fifty would be good enough. That should be good and that should give us a long strip there and uh, most of the time I like for my uh, canvas to be uh, transparent in the back and the way that we make that happen is that we go down here to the canvas uh, button on the bottom here and um, you can uh, make that transparent and um, we can start uh, adding our buttons now this is a real quick process real easy I just found out how to do it and uh, what we're going to go into edit up top insert and uh, we're going to hit new button and this screen will pop up and uh, here is where we're going we could you could build your buttons you can build customized buttons by just probably adding a rectangle in here and probably you know adding some of your own colors what have you there's a styles uh, uh, palette over here where you can add different styles to your your buttons there is pretty cool but um, you know just for the sake of time delete this um, we're going to just probably uh, create one of the uh, preset buttons so and uh, import a button so it's right down here on your um, almost to the bottom left hand corner import a button and here you see they have different styles in here you can kind of scroll down and see some of the different styles and you know this is just uh, a pretty quick uh, option for me um, so we don't have to go through the designing factor um, so we're just going to import that okay here we go and as you see we just imported our uh, new button here um, from some of the selections that you've seen and I uh, like this is pretty sleek uh, I think it'll go you know pretty good with the uh, uh, the website I'm putting together um, so once we, we're gonna go with this button right here and uh, again uh, I'm going with it because it's pretty sleek and we're going to hit the done button and uh, we're going to name this button this first button the home button all right, I'm gonna go with all caps and uh, bam here we go done deal okay and um, what we're going to do is uh, add about five more buttons from our library over here so I mean about four more because uh, this particular website I'm putting together for an artist uh, uh, was going to require about five buttons um, music artist I should say so um, I think that would be a good amount uh, to go with so you know it's very important that you have your website thought out how many pages you want to have because um, how many pages and all the elements you're going to have you know uh, for every element or page that you want to add you want to make sure you have that button for it so very important stage you just don't want to jump in there and just start building your website um, you want to kind of have it thought out drawn out draw it on a piece of paper uh, we call it storyboarding um, so it's very important that you kind of think these things out okay and uh, what we're going to do we're going to select all of these and uh, you know I got a line palette up and if you don't know what a line palette is at you can go into your window scroll down and you know that'll, that'll bring your line palette up and you know just select all these again and get that straightened out and Get that in there. Done deal. Quick, easy, painless. All right. And here we're going to go. We're going to start naming our buttons here. We have a first button and um, second button. I'm going to call that 
uh, in any other website will probably be a, about us, but this will be called bio. All right. Enter. Okay, a third button. Uh, we probably going to give him a gallery, a picture gallery. So I'm going to call this gallery. Again, very important to have your website thought out before you, you start it out. Um, our fourth button, we're going to call that. We're going to put a video page on there. Um, so we're going to video on there. Oh, got a little d dyslexic sometimes, you know. I think I had it uh, spelled the first time. There we go. All right, video. And last but not least, you know, every website has a contact page. You always want a contact page. So, there we go. All right, and for the last part of this tutorial, uh, what we want to do is we want to export this into your uh, your folder that you will be using for your website. Me myself, I suggest that you uh, save this, that this be the first thing you create and save it into your folder when, you know, creating your website. That's just my um, preference. You don't have to do it that way. But uh, again, um, if you're following through with my tutorials that I have um, with uh, navigation bar being the first step, this is what I recommend. So what we're going to do, we're going to export. Uh, go down to file and we're going to export your uh, navigation bar or menu bar to a folder we're just going to uh, for time's sake we're just going to uh, put this right on a desktop uh, uh, create a new folder uh, whatever the name of your website is going to be um, you know the name of my artist or music artist that I'm doing this for his name is Boone so I'll just put Boone on there and then I hit open and you know hit open again so I can make sure I'm inside of there and uh, what I'll do is I'll just hit save and bam there it is um, if we go back out to the uh, to the desktop here you'll see that I have uh, saved it to the folder if we go inside here uh, you can see that all the images are in the subfolder um, and uh, you know here what you can do is uh, just uh, pretty much double click that just to test out your uh, bar and there you have it a nice sleek good looking uh, menu bar and um, later on and uh, you can be able to put in your links and uh, you know we uh, you you know happen to press on there you can see it makes a little indentation there pretty cool so again that's just a simple way to go about making a menu bar and this is Patrick Freeman of PF Graphics and thanks for joining me and I'll see you at the next tutorial peace